I realized I couldn't do a project like this by myself. I had to hire a team of people if I was really going to cover the comprehensive material that I thought needed to be covered. The first person I hired was Chris Young. Chris at the time was the head development chef at the Fat Duck, where he'd been for about five years. Prior to that, Chris had been a scientist, a chemist at University of Washington. So he, he was about the perfect guy, blending science and chemistry, and he has a degree in math, as I do, with all of the things going on in cooking. And being at the Fat Duck was the cutting edge of the cooking world. Well, the first guy that Chris said we should hire after that was Max Belay, someone that he'd met at the Fat Duck. Uh, Max was a young chef who had done well at the Fat Duck in a variety of other contexts and really had a feel for modernist cuisine. Initially, I started taking all the photos myself, but my day job kept getting in the way, so we hired Ryan Matthew Smith, initially as my assistant, but pretty soon Ryan took over and he's taken almost all the photos in the book, although I did keep my hand in a little bit. Altogether, we had about 48 people worked on the book at one stage or another through, through the course of the project. We had about 18 people full time for most of the last three years. And at various points, I think the most number of people at any one point was 36. We had a lot of help on the book from the, the culinary community. Uh, chefs like uh, Heston Blumenthal, Ferran Adrio, Wiley Dufresne, and many others would review sections of the book for us and say, hey, I think that you're missing something here or something there. Other people would review a specific chapter. Food scientists who are experts in emulsions reviewed that chapter. People who knew gels would review that chapter. Uh, other folks would help us review the history of cuisine. With this editorial board of experts from around the world, we made sure the book was both concise and accurate.